עבדו את אדוני ביראה, וגילו ברעדה. נשקו בר פן יענף, וטובדו דרך, כי יבער כמעט אפו, אשרי כל חוסבו. The received text of the Tanakh, Psalm 2, 11 and 12, reads, Serve the Lord in awe, tremble with fright, pay homage in good faith, lest he be angered and your way be doomed in the mere flash of his anger. Some Jewish apologists accuse Christians of having adulterated, altered, or amended verse 12a in an attempt to introduce extraneous Trinitarianism. Indeed, instead of pay homage in good faith, traditional Christian translations of Psalm 2.12a do read, kiss the sun, providing alternative translations in a note. The Hebrew text of 2.12a reads, Nashkubar, which has no clear translation. Some rabbis make bold assertions to the effect that these words must mean, arm yourselves with purity. Lexicons list two homonyms of nashak. One, to kiss, which requires a direct object, and two, to put oneself in an order accommodate oneself, which takes no direct object, or to arm oneself. If the verb nashak means to kiss, then it implies an act of obeisance or of submission. Otherwise, it calls for leaders to obey orders, as in Genesis 41.40, By your command shall all my people be directed. To arm oneself seems inappropriate in the context of Psalm 2. Lexicons list four homonyms of bar. First, son, an Aramaic noun, and secondly, pure or empty, as an adjective. Three, grain, and fourthly, open country. Since Aramaic words rarely occur in the Psalms, and since the Hebrew term for son, ben, occurs in verse 7, you are my son, the translation of son seems unlikely for bar in verse 12. Nor do pure, an adjective, grain, or open country suit the grammar or the context. So what to do with var? Some surmise that the ancient text, which has no vowels or diacritical marks, originally read ben, and that an ancient scribe copied it as bar, mistaken a poorly written paleographic nun for a paleographic resh. However, there remains neither manuscript nor tradition to this effect, and one would expect the text to have read haben, the son. Some scholars propose to amend the text to delete bar, or Nashkubar, suggesting that one or both of these words was accidentally inserted by an ancient scribe through ditography, that is, reduplication of letters or syllables in writing, printing, etc., usually through error. In this case, verse 12 would begin, lest he be angered. However, there remains neither manuscript nor tradition to this effect. Unfortunately, there is no known paleographic Hebrew manuscript that contains the second psalm. The Septuagint, the 4th century BCE, Greek translation of the Tanakh, translates Psalm 2.12 by Daxis the Paideas, me pute or the curios, lay hold of discipline or correction, lest the Lord be angered. This seems to imply that there were one or more Hebrew words at the start of verse 12, with little indication of what those words may have been, unless the translators interpreted nashku within the somatic breadth of paideia. 
Awaiting further documentary or linguistic discoveries or insight, it seems reasonable to presume a scribble error that resulted in two extra words at the start of Psalm 2.12 in the Hebrew received text. This seems consistent with the exhortative nature of verse 11, to which verse 12 serves an, an explanatory clause in which the words nashkubar seem redundant. Thus we propose as a rendering of Psalm 2, 11 through 12, Serve the Lord in awe, tremble with fright, lest he be angered, and your way be doomed in the mere flash of his anger. Ribdu et Adonai begira, vegilu bir ada, pen ye enaf, veto vedu derech, ki yiv arkim at apo, ashre kol hosevu. In view of the tenuous nature of attempts of rendering Psalm 2.12, those of Christians, of Jews, and of atheists can, for the present, be considered legitimate attempts to deal with a difficult text. For now, accusations, vilification, authoritative pronouncements, and arbitrary definition of words prove more about human bias than about the psalm itself. Nevertheless, Psalm 2 portrays strong messianic imagery of worldwide domination under someone called Son, who is or will be Yahweh's anointed king.